Hey guys and welcome back to the Diabetes channel. Jazz over here and in today's video we are going to talk about food and its effect on our blood sugars. So to break it down very very simply, when you eat food our body breaks it down into different sugar molecules and those are released into your bloodstream and that is when your sugar rises. Now it's not just enough to know how much carbohydrate is in a particular food. What is also important to know is what is the glycemic index of that particular food. Now, carbohydrate containing foods have either a high GI, a moderate GI or a low GI. Now, what is glycemic index? Glycemic index is a number given from 0 to 100. And what this indicates is how quickly your blood sugar will rise after you have consumed this particular food. Foods with high GI mean that when it comes into your body, it digests very quickly and the sugar is released, the glucose is released into your bloodstream. Lower GI foods digest a little bit slower and over a period of time it releases the glucose into your food. The higher GI foods are to be had least often, the lower GI are to be had on a day to day basis and the moderate GI you take your call and take a pick with them. So anything below 55 is considered a low glycemic index food, 55 to 70 is moderate and above 70 is a high GI food. I'm going to tell you a few examples of these foods but before that, let me show you a visual depiction of how it affects our blood sugars. Come on. So, if this is our graph, this is our blood sugar and this is our hours. This is one hour and this is two hours. Now we imagine that both the foods we have eaten I have the same amount of carbohydrate. A carbohydrate with a high GI will peak over here and then sort of come down like this and with a low GI will sort of even out like this. As you can see the food with the high GI gives you an image of spiking your sugar. If you've eaten the meal over here Within an hour, you will see a spike of your sugars. And with a low GI food, it will go on towards two hours and not cause a peak in your blood sugars. So this is very important to understand. This means it has a GI of above 70 and this has a GI below 55. All right, so now I'm gonna give you examples of what are foods which have high, moderate and low GI. Let's do it. to GI food because you will not find a spike in your sugars. High GI if you are really craving it go for it but also try to correct with enough insulin. But remember that it's not necessary that just because it's a vegetable or a fruit it is low GI. For example watermelon is very high GI. We're going to put a link down below which has a chart which has all the GIs um, mentioned so you can make a correct call. So you must be wondering okay now I know about the GIs but how do I eat a good balanced meal? So well, the plate method is something that I personally use and it will ensure that you have a good balanced meal which will give you a lot of energy, it will give you all the nutrients and it will also try to keep your blood sugars in range. So this is your plate. You have to make sure you divide the plate like this and then in two quarters. This is your, your starches, right? So that could be rice, the breads, spaghetti, pasta, things like that. This section over here is the protein. So this could be eggs, uh, paneer, tofu. If you eat meat, then it's chicken, uh, beans, fish. Okay, you want to get a good element of protein in. And this side 
is your veggies. So fill it up with all the different colorful. Try to get some red veggies in, lots of green veggies, some yellow. Make this as colorful as possible. So here you have your plate method, which you make sure you have a good starch, protein and veggies over here. And you have a good balanced meal. All right, so those are just a few things that you can remember to ensure you're having balanced meals that will not spike your blood glucose levels. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Do not forget to like this video, share and of course subscribe to our channel, follow us on all our social media and as always be type one of a kind. And now I'm going to eat my low GI snack. <laughs>